Hey, hey, hey. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. All right, all right, all right. Good afternoon, Norma. Let me switch my mic here. This mic is really picky. Okay, this mic is very sensitive, so still doing some testing with it. So, all right. Hey, Rhonda, what's up? Hey, Nisi, what's up, Chris? All right. Today's focus is health and healing, y'all. All right. Um, Let me make a little adjustment here. There we go. Today we're going to look at Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah 53. God wants us to live and walk in divine health. Healing is available to you as a child of God. Healing is the children's bread, praise God. All right, it's warm here in Indiana, finally. Even though it's a cloudy, rainy outside. I got my bike riding in yesterday. But uh, got some iced tea. Oh, man, that's good. Hey, Shenda, what's up? All right. Good to see you. All right. It has been a minute. Okay. All right. I want to look at one particular verse of Scripture. In Isaiah 53, verse 4, it says, Surely, I love that. That means... It's not maybe, it's not a chance for it not to be. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Now I'm reading out of the ESV. However, a couple of these words are mistranslated. I encourage you, if you don't have my book, get my book on healing. Um, I wrote a book on healing and it explains this in that particular book. All right, Shinda. What's up, cuz? All right, Ross. Okay, good to have you today. Okay, so this word griefs actually is holy in the Hebrew. The word sorrows is makob. So if you're taking notes, griefs in the Hebrew is holy and sorrows is makob. Now, why is that important? Well, the word griefs, which is holy, is often translated sickness. And that's what it should be here. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll prove to you that that's a mistranslation from the Bible itself. The best way to interpret Scripture is to allow the Scripture to interpret Scripture. The word sorrows is makob, which is should be translated pains. So it should read like this. Surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. All right. So what are we doing here? This is, if you're with us for the first time, I'm Al Jennings and what we do, and I, I'm going to rename it. I got to go back and, and see what I said I was going to name these, but uh, let me think, let me see if I can remember it. It's going to be encouragement, tea, and confessions. All right, so you got to bring tea or I won't let you in. It could be hot or cold. All right, I'm not going to be picky about that, but it's got to be tea. No, it can be coffee. And for you, it might be Encouragement, coffee, and confessions. 
That actually sounds better. Sometimes I bring coffee, so we'll let you bring some coffee. What else? Water? All right. Whatever you want. Okay, just bring it. Or if you want to be dry mouth, just come as you are. All right. <laughs> Surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. And if you're... If you have your Bibles open, whether it's a digital Bible on your smartphone or tablet or a physical Bible, mark it. If your app allows you to highlight it, go ahead and do that. Yeah, Roz, you got to tell me when you're out. When you're out, give me the address, and I'm there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take care of my, my cousin. You know it. All right, Shanda, I ain't mad at you. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm a coffee person too, all right? Yes. All right, so next time you're in town, you need to stop by. I've got an, an amazing coffee bar, and I'll, I'll make you one of my, my special limited editions. <laughs> okay. And that goes to all my faithful people on here. You just let me know. I could, I'll, I'll arrange it because... Y'all been, I'm, I'm talking to my faithful folks, the ones that show up here all the time. Okay. <laughs> I, I will hook you up. I got you covered, y'all. Okay. Now, I want you to mark this, mark verse 4 in your Bible, and in particular, a portion of that verse where it says, surely he has borne our griefs, or it should be, Surely he has borne our sicknesses. Now, if you're taking notes, write that down because that's very important. Now, this, Isaiah 53, describes Jesus on the cross. Now, we're going to go and prove it to you from the scripture itself. Matthew, which reminds me to remind you that the Bible... I'm excuse, excuse me, chosen, chosen two is now available on the chosen app. Go to your app store, get it, get it, get it. I'm telling you, watch the chosen. It, it'll help the gospels come alive to you. I'm not going to say much about that, but um, get the chosen app. Now, chosen one is has been out, okay, over a year or so ago. Chosen 2 is out. Don't watch Chosen 2. Don't watch it. Until you have watched Chosen 1. There's a reason for that. But Chosen 2, only the first episode is out. So you, you would only be able to go so far anyway. So go back, watch the whole Season 1. If you haven't done it, you owe it to yourself. Watch The Chosen. I support Chosen personally, um, financially, because it's, it, I'm going to support second version as well. Um, it's amazing. Okay, so it's the best um, dis, um, dis, depiction. That's the word I'm looking for. The best depiction of Jesus on, on film I've ever seen. Hands down. Forget it. The Chosen. Get it. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Now, let's go back to this. <clears throat> Commercial over. This was Matthew 8, 17. This was what, this was to fulfill what was spoken by Isaiah the prophet. Let me back up to verse 16 because this is Jesus in his earthly ministry. It says, That evening they brought to him many who were op oppressed by demons, and he cast out the spirits with the word and healed all who were sick with a word. Excuse me. He cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. This, he did this, to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He took our illnesses, one translation says he took uh, our infirmities 
and bore our what? Diseases. Now the translation says, bore our sicknesses. This is a direct quote from Isaiah 53, 4. So, so, so Matthew, the Holy Spirit, through Matthew, translates um, holy as sickness, not griefs. So, what does all that mean to you? Glad you asked that. On the cross, Jesus, whew, I'm feeling this, man. Whew. On the cross, I want you to know, I got a, I've got an announcement to make. It's better than the vaccine. God, I'm not mad at the vaccine. I'm telling you, this is more powerful than any vaccine ever known to man. Let me tell you something. Jesus took our sicknesses on the cross. Hallelujah. He took COVID. Now, if you can get a hold of that, you're free forever. I don't care what you've been battling, what you've been dealing with. Jesus took it on the cross. When you see it as done, as a finished work, your healing is a finished work. You, you, you're, you're done with sickness and disease. Glory be to God. The interest of God's word gives light. He sent his word and healed you. See, if you're going to experience transformation, one of my friends quoted this. Let me see if I can get it. If I can't get it exactly, I get it close. A friend of mine, he stated it like this. Information. I'm giving you information from God's word. Information must become revelation before it becomes transformation in your life. Ooh, that's good. Want me to say that again? Okay, I'll do it. When you get information from God's Word, it must become revelation and it will become meta it will become let me throw something else in that. Watch this. It will become revelation through meditation. So information through meditation, speaking the word, becomes revelation, which will result in transformation. Whew. Love that. What are we doing here, y'all? We talking about encouragement from God's word. Tea or coffee, Shinda, and confessions. Let's do it. I am the disciple who Jesus loves. Okay, if you're with us for the first time, we say this together. I am the disciple who Jesus loves. I am my father's favorite child. Don't y'all be squatting on this good revelation. Y'all say something. Y'all getting a hold of this? Man, I... I just spit out some good stuff right there. <laughs> I hear you, Roz. Let's go. I am the disciple who Jesus loves. I am my father's favorite child. I am the apple of his eye. I am well pleasing in his sight. I receive the love that my father has for me. Everything I do and touch shall be blessed because I am the beloved. I am loved, righteous, blessed, prosperous, redeemed, forgiven, talented, created, confident, secure, disciplined, focused, prepared, qualified, motivated, valuable, free, determined, equipped, empowered, anointed, accepted and approved, not average, not mediocre, holy, flawless, without blemish, blameless, and free from accusation. I am a child of the Most High God. I will become all I was created to be in Jesus' 
name. My family, Psalm 91, my family dwells in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, you are our refuge and our fortress, my Father, and you I will trust. Surely you shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. You shall cover us with your feathers and under your wings we shall take refuge. Your faithfulness shall be our shield and buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness. No, we're not going to be afraid of it. Nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but, ooh, hallelujah, it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the most high, our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling, for you shall give your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. In their hands they shall bear us up, Lest we dash our foot against a stone, we shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent we shall trample underfoot. Because I believe in the love that you have for us, therefore you will deliver us. You will set us on high because we have known your name. We shall call upon you and you will answer us. You will be with us in trouble. You will deliver us and honor us with long life. You will satisfy us and show us your salvation, deliverance, preservation, healing, safety, soundness, and prosperity. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Shinda, if you haven't done it, subscribe. Click that subscribe button. I know you're watching over there on YouTube. Click the little bell so you can be reminded about future videos. All right, that's my little commercial. We're going to jump into our uh, entree for today, the main course. Confessions for Health and Healing. You ready? Let's go. Say this after me. Uh-oh, first, but first, T. Take a sip. Repeat this after me. Jesus is the Lord of my life. Sickness and disease have no power over me. I am free from sickness and disease in all of its forms. I am free from sickness and disease. Jesus bore my sicknesses and carried my diseases and by his wounds, I have been healed. Father, because of your word, I am an overcomer. I overcome the world, the flesh, and the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of my testimony. I have abundant life through the word of God and the healing power of God flows to every organ, cell, tissue, and joint in my body, bringing life and health. The word is life and healing to all my flesh. In my pathway is life and there is no death. I walk the path of life, healing, and health. The life of God flows within me, bringing healing to every fiber of my being. Sickness is under the curse, and I am redeemed from the curse. 
the healing power of God and the life of God flow to every cell in my body, restoring life and health. I present my body to God, for it is the temple of the living God. I am filled with all the fullness of God. Therefore, sickness and disease cannot exist in my body. That which God has not planted in my body is dissolved and rooted out of my body in Jesus' name. Growths and tumors cannot exist in my body because I've been delivered from the authority of darkness. Every organ and tissue functions in the perfection that God created it to function. I forbid my body to malfunction in any way in Jesus' name. As I give voice to the word of God, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus makes me free from the law of sin and death, sickness and disease. Every disease germ and virus that touches my body dies instantly in Jesus' name. Man, I'm serious as I can be about this boy. Whew. The word that you're speaking is causing an effect. It's, it is effective in your body. Thank you, Lord. What up, girl? My sister from the East Coast. <laughs> All right, a few more. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death, sickness, disease, poverty, and fear. Therefore, I will not allow sin, sickness, or death to lord it over me. I demand that every internal organ in my body perform a perfect work. I am healed and made whole in the name of Jesus. Man, I'm full right now. Say this. I will... I will not die, but live and declare the works of God. Whew. I know we don't walk by feelings, but I feel this, boy. Whew. Goodness. The word was sent to heal me and deliver me from all my destructions. I give attention to the word of God and incline my ear to God's sayings. I will not let them depart from my eyes, but I will keep them in the midst of my heart. For they are life and health to my whole body. Since the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead lives in me, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to my mortal body through his spirit who dwells in me. Oh my goodness. Right now, divine life is being dispensed into your body by the spirit of God. One more. I prosper and am in health even as my soul prospers. Praise God, y'all. All right. Boy, that's powerful. Well, that's it for today. Encouragement, tea, and confessions. Remember, go to your app store. It's only on, on the mobile app, but you can... Oh, one more thing. 
I'm talking about The Chosen. I shared this earlier. Watch The Chosen. Don't watch Chosen 2. Episode 1, they dropped Episode 1 for Chosen 2. Chosen 2, Episode 1 dropped Sunday, Easter Sunday evening. But don't watch it until you get Chosen 1. You can get both of them on the, the Chosen app. When you get the app, you can stream stream it, not stream it, but you can um, share it to your um, TV. Send it to your TV, and it'll play on, on, on your screen. That's the best way to watch it, if you can. Or you can watch it on your mobile device or tablet, okay? You're greatly blessed, highly, fav highly favored, deeply loved, and totally righteous, and destined to reign. Because of Jesus, have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you tomorrow.